Hi, Pat with Deer Country Farm and Lawn. Today we're going to talk about the difference between radial and bias tires on compact tractors. One of the new things John Deere is offering now is radial tires. So we have two different types of tires here and we're going to talk through the difference, some of the pros and cons, so you know the right questions to ask and the right things to consider when you're choosing a tire for your tractor. So, on my left here we have a bias turf tire, also called an R3 tire. Over here, we have a radial turf tire, okay? You can see an obvious difference in the tread pattern, but they're both considered a turf tire. The big difference here is gonna be radial versus bias. So let's talk about some of the pros and cons and what makes them different. Start with the most common tire that's been used forever, the bias tire. A bias tire, when you go over a bump, the sidewall and the main surface of the tire work together. So when you go over a bump, this is going to flex and this is going to flex and that's why when you drive one of these tires over bumps or a bias tire in general over bump you're going to feel it it's going to jolt you okay because as this flexes and then unflexes you bounce okay on a radial tire the main surface and the side wall work independently so when you go over a bump or a rock with one of these the main surface is going to bend the side wall is not so you're not going to bounce as much when you go over those bumps. So that's that's one advantage, bounce versus not bounce. Another advantage is that since this flexes without bouncing, you're gonna get better traction, okay? So a lot of people will buy these for hillside use and deer markets them for snow removal specifically because of that ability to stay connected to the ground. When it bends here, it doesn't bend here, it doesn't lose traction with the ground so it can push better in the snow um, and it can stay connected to that hill when you go over a little bump or a groundhog hole you're going to stay on the ground without losing that traction in a spot that you don't want to whereas over here when you're in the snow or or on that hill you go over that bump it's not going to the whole thing is not going to bend here it's going to bend here as well and part of the rubber when it bends here it's going to bend here and cause it to come off the ground over here even, so you lose a little bit of traction. So, um, big differences between radio and bias for you to keep in mind when you're making the decision is, is traction and comfort, bounce factor, okay, and how that impacts your use of the, the tractor. A lot of people will look at the tread patterns um, and from an, an eye test or curb appeal, they think this looks a lot more aggressive, okay? And, and it does. And in really wet conditions, uh, it might tear up the grass a little bit more. But it, on normal conditions, it should not. It should actually leave lesser of a footprint because of that ability to contour to the ground and spread the weight of the equipment over the whole surface instead of just the spot that's touching the ground. The radial tire is gonna bend and let the weight spread across the entire tire, even the parts that's not touching the ground. So it'll have less of a footprint um, some tractors are going to offer the radial tires some of them aren't it's kind of a limited thing so far in john deere's lineup we just want to make sure that while you're looking around at different brands that you're comparing the right tires and asking the right questions to get what's right for your needs and that you recognize that some of these are going to have a price difference you know if you want radials some models they cost a little bit more sometimes they're the same price it really has to do with the tire manufacturer um, but make sure you're weighing your options and comparing turf tire to turf tire is not as simple as turf to turf. It's are they biased or are they radial? What are you getting for that money? And is it what you want for your money? So if you have more questions about the difference between radial tires and biased tires and your, your compact tractor, give us a call at Deer Country Farm and Lawn and ask for Lawn and Garden Sales.